Hello everyone, welcome to Compare A Plus Exam Questions. This is my first video of uh, these exam questions series. So let's get started. So the first question is, which laptop feature allows to overcome standard keyboard size restrictions? The options are touchpad, numeric pad, FN or function key and digitizer. So the answer is the function key or the FN key. The next question is, what is the most common memory module form factor type used in laptops? The options are ECC ROM, DIMM, SODIMM, or CR, CRIM. So the answer is SODIMM or small outline dual inline memory module. The next question is, which of the answers listed below offer or offers to internal data storage device types used in laptop computers. Select all that apply. The options are flash drive, SSD, USB drives, and magnetic disk. And the answer is SSD and magnetic disk. Question number four is, which of the following statements offer to the characteristics features of magnetic drives? Select three answers. The options are high capacity, high performance, low device cost, low capacity, high device cost, and low performance. And the answers are high capacity, low device cost, and low performance. Question number five is, which of the answers listed below describe the features of solid state drives? Select three answers. The options are relatively high device cost, low performance, low capacity in comparison to magnetic drives, high performance, relatively low device cost, higher capacity in comparison to magnetic drives. And the answers are relatively high device cost, low capacity in comparison to magnetic drives, and higher performance. The next question is, which of the following hardware components would be the most difficult to replace on a laptop computer? Options are system board, optical drive, primary storage, integrated GPU, and the secondary storage. And the answer is the integrated GPU. The next question is, which type of expansion card enables communication in 802.11 networks? The options are WLAN, WPAN, riser card, and WVAN. And the answer is WN or the wireless LAN. The next question is, which of the following answers refer to a laptop's Bluetooth module? And the options are WLAN, riser card, WVAN, and WPAN. And the answer is WPAN or the wireless personal area network. The next question is a type of expansion card that enables communication over cellular network is referred to as the options are WLAN card, WAN, WVAN card, and WPAN card. And the answer is W WAN card. It means that it is the wireless wide area network card. The next question is, question is the in computer security, the term biometric refers to physical characteristics of human body that can be used for identification and access control. And the option is true and false. And the correct answer is true. From uh, this uh, biometric uh, system, we means that the human biometric features like the fingerprint and retina, etc., they can be used as identification and access control. The question number 11 is that a very short range communication method where a wireless signal is sent between two devices that are touching or nearly touching each other is a characteristic feature of the option are infrared, RFID, NFC, and Bluetooth. So the answer is NFC or 
NFC stands for Near Field Communication. This is a feature which is uh, nowadays available in modern uh, latest smartphones and this feature can be used to transfer data from one smartphone to another by keeping them very close to each other uh, or nearly touching them. Question number 12 is that a technology implemented in modern laptops that enables data transfer and authentication features between laptop and another portable device at a very close range is known as the options are Wi-Fi, IoT, Internet of Things, NFC and WiMAX. And the answer is again NFC or near field communication. The NFC uh, is true because in the question they are asking that the devices should be at a very close range. So the NFC uh, uses very close in flight communication whereas the Wi-Fi, WiMAX and IoT they can be communicated at a larger or long distances. The next question is that what are the characteristic features of in-plane switching and uh, we have to select three options. The options are high color quality, fast response times, wide weaving angles, low, qual low color quality, slow response times, and low weaving angles. And the answers are the high color quality, wide weaving angles, and slow response times. Next question is, which of the following answer describes the twisted pneumatic or TN technology, select three answers. The options are low viewing angles, fast response times, low color quality, slow response time, high color quality, wide viewing angles. And the answers are low viewing angles, fast response times, and low color quality. Question number 15 is that what uh, vertical alignment via display technology can be characterized by Select three answers. The options are high contrast ratios, low color quality, good weaving angles, low contrast ratios, good color quality, and low weaving angles. And the uh, correct answers are high contrast ratio, good weaving angles, and good color quality. Question number 17 is that IPS, Nimorti, uh, TN, VA and OLED are all implementation of the LCD display technology. The options are true and false, so the correct answer is false. Question number 18 is that a type of backlit technology most commonly used in modern laptop devices is known as the options are CCFL, CRT, OLED and LED and the correct answer is LED. Next question is, which of the answers listed below refers to the location of a laptop's Wi-Fi antenna? The options are on the VLAN module, near the top, inside display case, inside laptop's case, typically attached via external and expansion card port. And the correct answer is, near the top, inside display case. Question number 20 is, which of the following answers refers to a device capable of providing both input and output functions? The options are microphone, touchpad, speaker, touch screen, and monitor. And the correct answer is touch screen, because we can use the touch screen to both view the content and also give the input by touching the screen, such as the smartphone, the touch screen smartphones. So that's all for today. And this is the first video. I will upload uh, regularly these videos. So please subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming video. Thank you.